Hopefully my explaining skills are better than my drawing skills. So this is a half section of a K98K, or you can relate it to most bolt actions, but it has the main components like the bolt, um, the receiver bridge, the chamber, uh, the locking lugs, the extractor, all of that good stuff. <clears throat> so, yeah. The reason that I drew this is so I could explain an out-of-battery detonation. And by its very nature, it's pretty easy to explain. An out-of-battery detonation is when the case or the cartridge detonates without the locking lugs being fully engaged in the chamber and locked into position. So, in the case of a K98K, uh, it would be like your locking lugs would be like this, so they would still be horizontal, because when you lock them in place, they're going to be vertical. So it would be something like this. Let's say I had a cartridge in there and I pulled that trigger. Most likely in a bolt action, I'm not worried really about that, about that going off. Because as you can see there, just pay attention to the striker. When you pull the trigger, that striker hits a lot softer than if you actually cock it and pull it for real. So, out of battery detonations really aren't that prevalent in bolt action rifles. What you'll typically see is ruptured cases in bolt action rifles, but bolt action rifles have a lot better safety features because it's a lot easier to control something that isn't moving than something that is like in the case of a semi-auto in a mauser action you have this groove on the left hand side of the receiver and this groove diverts gas away most of that gas will go out of this thumb clearance right here so the rest of the gas that'd be coming back towards you you have a gas shield right here so you won't get gas right in your eye so a bolt um a k98k is a very safe action and an arasaka is even safer because you have vent holes in the top if you've ever had a ruptured case in an arasaka basically I would say about 90% of the gas goes out of the top of the receiver rather than going back because an Arasaka has all of the same safety features but it has drilled holes in the chamber area so all of that gas gets diverted up. So like I said in a bolt action rifle an out of battery detonation is pretty rare but if it does happen it's not nearly as big of a deal as with a semi-auto because a semi-auto everything is moving when you fire and everything happens so quick you only think that you can prevent this or you'll be able to see it happen in real time there's absolutely no way that you will it will go three times quicker than your brain can actually receive it if you've seen videos of guns exploding frame by frame usually it's a whole bunch frame it's there's a whole bunch of frames before the people even realize what happened they're still holding the gun in in the proper position while with it being in pieces so it happens a lot quicker than you think so with the semi-auto your bolt is going to come forward and it's going to engage in the locking lugs just like a k98k except you aren't going to push it everything is going to be done by gas power and by recoil springs so in the case of a failed um in out of battery detonation or a failed case or whatever that action is going to slam back into uh the receiver bridge most likely all of that gas is going to be diverted near the magazine it's going to blow out your magazine with that violent of an action or with that violent of a throwback in the bolt that velocity you're most likely going to crack your stock with a semi-auto it happens very very quick and yeah it's um it's pretty scary if you see it firsthand um one of one of my friends actually blew up an egyptian hakeem because he had an out of battery detonation but um so your locking lugs they aren't they're sorry your bolt isn't going to be fully engaged with your locking lugs this cartridge is going to explode when those locking lugs aren't locked into the chamber 
it's going to send everything back in a very, very high velocity and it's going to blow up your gun or bubble the receiver or something along those lines. So it's a lot harder to control in a semi-automatic. So I'm just starting to ramble at this point, but hopefully that kind of explains how an out of battery detonation will happen in a bolt action and how it'll happen in a semi-auto. Now I'm probably going to make another part of this video explaining the different kinds of out of battery detonations and the reason behind them. And I'll probably bring up this ugly painting again just to try and iterate the point a bit.